Sorry for any background noise, but disclaimer, I am doing a voiceover because I don't like my voice clip. So if the clip and audio don't match up, you know why. Um, that being said, let's go on with the video. Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to crop fan cams and how to download fan cams because I know people don't have the cropping feature in the gallery. So, yeah. I also just wanted to say I'm happy to be uploading again because I don't want to do cringy vlogs. I want to do real helpful videos, very things that people will want to watch. So, I hope this tutorial can help with that and help you, you know, to make your fan cam and stuff. So, the first thing you need to do is to go on YouTube, you don't have to go into the website or you can just go into the app one, whatever you want, your choice. And, my links, you can go and go to the search and uh, here's me trying to figure out which I want. But you can really do anything you want, so yeah, I'll be back when I have my fan cam searched. So, here's the fan cam I want. I just chose this Jimin by Will Love Thank You. And from this channel, Park Chan Jim. Sorry for the notification. And so, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to press the, you know, share button down there next to the dislikes. You just wanna press it, then press the copy link. And if you want good Jamie fan cams, go to Park Chan Jam. It's a good fan site. Um, I get <laughs> my fan cams from there. But yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is press share, then copy link, and get off of YouTube. So after you exit YouTube, you're gonna go to Google, and you wanna type Y to Mate, then search. And you're going to press the first link, not the second, third link. That's going to take you to different websites. Press the first link only. And when you get there, you're going to paste your link in the little bar there. Then it will just pop up. And then you're going to choose the quality you want. Also, there will be ads, but press the X and move on. So, usually it won't take you to different sites, but press the back button. Stay on the site. Keep pressing X navigation. Then you press down there and take it to the side again. Press back. Then go ahead and press details. And it will take you to where and where it's done. And you can check. You know when it's done. Okay, I'm back and my video is downloaded. So you're gonna exit all that and go to your gallery. Just check it's there. And here it is. Now as you can see, it's horizontal. But we don't want that. We want the video to be vertical. So you're just gonna exit out of the gallery and go to CapCut. And I'm sure CapCut is on iOS and Android. So um you just done the CapCut and then go to new project. So press new project and click the video you want, then press add. So you can trim it, whatever, but um my thing pretty good, so yeah. You're gonna press format and when you press format you can choose your frame but it's like by filters in the canvas thing so yeah you can choose your frame i like the 9 by 16 one and then just click on the thing and zoom it in to the size to fit the thing and just check if it's good or not um if you want you can do it on square but because some people prefer that but I prefer the 9 by 16 one because it's better so here's me just going to adjust it so I'll just let that be so when you're done editing copying whatever you want you can go ahead and add effects but like, you can add a blink and stuff, but I want just a plain, normal fan cam, but didn't do anything, you know, edit, split it, just the speed.
need add any audio or text, whatever you want. But what you should want to do next after you um, finished is top, press the top right corner button. Um, it will take you to this page and adjust the things and press export. And I'll be back when it's done exporting. So my video is done exporting, so you can just follow that the next editor of CapCut and go to gallery and check out there. And they have it, it's in the vertical, it's not horizontal anymore. And yeah, so that's how you can crop it. Um, not really cropping, just putting it in the frame. So I hope this video helped you on how to crop pan cams and download them. It's really easy, very simple, and it's honestly like it's as simple as I'm gonna get. So I hope it helped you and comment down below new tutorials you guys want and I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys and bye!